Hey, this is Darren with Big Daddy Scripts. I'm going to show you the Vehicle Menu Builder and how that works. I'll try to make this quick and easy so you can get to work on it. Uh, first thing, this is just telling you that if it messes up, don't get mad at me because I don't guarantee <laughs> everything. Alright, so the first three fields are your menu title, the subtitle, and which key opens the menu. Um, you can change any of those. It does not have to say by Big Daddy Scripts, although I don't mind if it does. 56 is F9. You can find these under the CFX controls. If you search CFX controls in Google, it'll sh bring you to the page that has all of the controls and what number they are. All right, so to start with, I'm going to add a category of BCSO, and I want that to have permissions. Now the permissions, those are totally up to you. You have to set up your own permissions. You can't just put anything you want in here. It actually has to be an ACE permission on your server that you're assigning to somebody. If you leave it blank, everyone can see that subfolder or folder or whatever it is. I'm gonna give them Leo permissions and I'm gonna add a category. There it is right there. You see, this is what'll show up in the menu and this is the permission that can see that option. I'm going to add a sub category of SUV and I'm not going to put any permissions on it because the top level will have permissions. Now this is not a subcategory yet. You can see as it's generating the JSON over here, those are going to be two separate categories. So what I can do is take that, move it slightly to the right and when it turns orange, it is the being a child of the one right above it. So now it is a category of BCSO. SUV is in the categories for BCSO, which is what you want. So now I'm going to add a Tahoe. And you see it didn't show up. Why did the vehicle not show up? Well, it's in the root. You can't have vehicles in the root. They have to be in a folder. So if I pull it here, it turns orange, but it's under BCSO. It has to be indented. So here it'll be under the SUV. So here you see SUV and the, the Tahoe is under it. And so once you have that, it's super easy to figure out after that. So I'm going to add Coupe and I'm going to put that underneath BCSO as well. And we're going to say Crown Vic. And this vehicle model the vehicle name is what shows up in the menu. The model is what you would use to spawn it if you were going to spawn it manually. That has to be correct or else choosing the menu option won't work. So I'm going to put the Crown Vic underneath Coop. And so there that is. And you can just keep going on and on and on and on. And you can add as many sub-levels as you want, although I wouldn't recommend going super deep because that would make it hard to use. There is another feature that I will show you. Let's say you've already gone through a whole bunch of trouble and created your own... I'm going to refresh this. Created your own menu, but you want to edit it. You want to add cars to it. So if you have the JSON that was output from here, you can paste it into here. And there's a generate items from JSON to edit button right here. And when you click it, it creates the hierarchy that you had before. Which is really nice because now I can come back in and I can add to that. Uh, for instance, let's see, I was on Ferrari. So next I want to add Ford. So there's four. I want to add. I have a whole list. I actually did a, uh, a tree view of the directory. So it showed me all of the cars within their folders. So I can just come in here and. So a 2010 Ford Focus. Focus 10 is the spawn code. Add a vehicle. It's in the root, so it doesn't add it. I have to pull it over. So now it's under Ford. If I scroll down here, and you'll see Ford and vehicles under Ford is the focus. And once you get it all generated, you click copy to clipboard and you paste it into your menu.json. 
file. This is the menu.json that we just created. And you can edit this yourself manually and add whatever you need to add to it. Uh, although you have to be careful because if you <laughs> set it up wrong, it won't, the menu won't work at all. So something to keep in mind. Okay, so we're in the game. F9 is the key that I set for the menu. So here's the vehicle menu. You can see the title is what we set it at by Big Daddy Scripts as the subtitle. And here's all the options. Forward is the one that we just added, and there's the focus. So when we choose that, it spawns a car. If I go with the dodge, there it is. And that's all there is to it. You can set it up however you want with subfolders and permissions and <laughs> whatever you want to do with it. You can set up your police vehicles and only give that permission to the police. You can set up your fire vehicles and only give permission to the fire people. Um, however you want to do it. Um, you don't have to use permissions at all. You leave them blank and everybody can spawn them. Uh, if you have a server where you have certain levels of membership or whatever, you can set certain permissions for certain extra civ vehicles. It's however you want to do it. It doesn't really matter. That's the whole purpose of this menu is to be able to set it up however you want. Anyway, thanks for watching. BigDaddyScripts.com